Ladies and gentlemen, right now, for congratulations, you played yourself. We may, we might as well set aside time because this is the, hopefully, the last time I have to say what I'm about to say. Rosenberg over the weekend, and we talked about it last week on uh, the Daily Show. Trevor Noah had up there a lady who's somehow become the interest of a lot of black social media types. Her name is Tommy Loren. She's about 25 years old. I think she's from North or South Dakota, some bubble somewhere in America, some weird white bubble, who's never actually lived in a city that's multicultural, probably, or even had conversations with people from all backgrounds. She works for a conservative internet, not regular TV. No, it's internet. available in like it's available in like two markets. It's not like regular TV at all. Yes, but it's. And it's conservative. I'll say. Yes. Um, she said things like comparing Black Lives Matter to the KKK. And by the way, that's not something she said once. That's something that even when Trevor Noah pressed her on it, she continues to say that they're similar to the KKK. Um, as well as ridiculing black America over our issues that we do have. And saying that... <laughs> that that's why we hate white people because we're not basically handling our issues in our own communities and even talking about Colin Kaepernick kneeling down as if he shouldn't be able to do that and why does he hate white people so much or how about saying that Beyonce hates cops after her performance of formation at the Super Bowl so now you know, there's several ways I could go with this, which I could I could talk about what she doesn't understand. But what we're seeing today is people that I think are contributors to our game, Charlemagne and Trevor Noah, clamor to stand next to this person, interview her, be on her show. First, I want to hit Charlemagne with a congratulations. You played yourself. Congratulations. You played yourself. Because you went on her show hoping that she would come on your show. <laughs> oh, yes, true. And that didn't happen. So you went and took your brand over into that world hoping that she would come to your world. And that didn't happen because she got up there with Trevor Noah, played herself, and then her handlers didn't want to bring her up there. So you get that for that. Congratulations. You played yourself. Then I hear audio, saw a video that TMZ posted this weekend where she's making cracks about Black Lives Matter. And then you giggle and talk about Black Penises Matter. Congratulations. You played yourself. And what I'm seeing is what I call slave mentality taking place. And I know, Charlemagne, you're from a small plantation in South Carolina or wherever, so you're accustomed to Confederate flags flying and feeling like as a black man you gotta appease white people. I'm not from that. And I wasn't raised like that. And which is why in this game I opted to stay at Hot 97, never work for iHeart because I don't like what they represent. Which is why I didn't take label jobs because I'm nobody mans in them. I'm my own man. And I work for a liberal Jewish company. Right? I stayed away from TV. I stayed away from all those things because I didn't want to have to cow down and try to be accepted by mainstream America. Now we're watching you, sir, bleach your skin. Right? We're watching you stand next to this lady. And while I think you're great at what you do, the problem I have today is that you're trying too hard to be accepted by mainstream white America. Hit him with the congratulations. Congratulations. You played yourself. You have a huge platform. People love you. You do not have to get on TV and Sambo like that, bro. You don't have to do that. I know you got a funny name, and they're like, what's a Charlemagne? We don't even know what that is. Change your name back to your government, which is Leonard, and go up on TV and be Leonard. Bleach your skin if that's your path, and white America might accept you, but you're Samboing too hard, my G. you Samboing too hard. Congratulations. You played yourself. And, and I just want to say real quick on top of that, the, you, didn't have stop. To, you didn't have to... 
No, I, well, I'm not because I don't want to add to that part. That's not necessarily my conversation. I, I just want to say, Ebro, for everyone who's jumping in saying we need to have dialogue. No, we don't. This, th- no, we don't. You don't need to legitimize. We why I only know about this person the first time I ever saw her was when Charlemagne went on her show. You are you are making her palatable and acceptable and legitimate, and 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 what she says is poison and divisive and against this culture. It makes no sense. Sorry, that's it. And also, Ebro, Trevor Noah. Once you had her on the on the show, you had the interview. I thought that was stupid. Thought it didn't make sense to give her the platform. Thought it didn't accomplish anything. Again, everyone's like, "Oh, they dialogued." Did she change her mind? Did she accept any of your opinions? No, it did nothing. And then why afterwards, Trevor Noah? Do you have to go sit and have drinks with her at her hotel lobby? Because he wanted you to got- D it down. He wanted it and you smash. What are you doing? You know what I mean? Because she is kind of cute. You know what I mean? So if she was some ugly dude, you would have been at the hotel having drinks. I don't think so. Congratulations, Congratulations. bro.